Hey guys, in this video I'll be showing you guys how to get battery percentage on your iPod Touch without jailbreaking. So this should work for all current versions of the iPod Touch, which includes the 1st gen, 2nd gen, 3rd gen, 4th gen, and the 5th generation iPod Touch, which I will be using in this video. This will work on all versions of iOS, maybe up to iOS 7, I'm not sure. Right now it's only in beta stage, but in the future maybe the final version will not support this. I am not sure about iOS 7 right now. So, but it is guaranteed to work um, on all other versions unless you do it incorrectly. So let me go ahead and go into settings as it says here, 6.1.3 about 6.1.3 right there and I will go into iTunes here in a second and show you that I am in on uh, 6.1.3 so let's go ahead and begin let's go ahead and plug our device into iTunes alright once you have your device plugged into your computer go ahead and head over to your device section and here you'll see your firmware my firmware is 6.1.3 indeed like I mentioned earlier in the video now you're going to hit backup now. You're going to back up to your computer. Uh, I think it, it doesn't matter, but just back up to your computer to be sure. Once you hit backup now, let it back up, and once you're done, you can just close out of iTunes. Now you're going to need iBackup Bot. I'm going to have a download link for that in the, descri in the description, so you're going to need to download it. And once you have downloaded it, go ahead and launch it up. Once you have opened it, you should look something like this with your devices right here with your device backup actually then you're gonna sub open your device right here is the thing too that's mine you're gonna hit system files now here you're gonna go over to the search bar right up here and you're gonna type in uh, com.apple.sp right there sp right there out um, just a, a simple code then you're gonna hit enter and two things should pop up now there's going to be two of these uh, files right here and uh, it's going to be uh, 2.6 KB and or something like that. One of them is going to be 507 and one of them is going to be uh, 2.6 right here. So you're going to, uh, or it, actually it's not going to actually be 2.6, it's just, it's just going to be bigger than the other one. So you're going to go ahead and select the one that is bigger than the other one. And once you double click on it, you, if things going to pop up to uh, tell you to buy it, and just hit cancel. And something like this should pop up. Now under this first key, should, dubbed dict right here, D-I-C-T, you're going to hit enter and make a new line. There you go. And now you're going to paste this code in there. I will have that in the description. Uh, you're going to paste this code. You're going to uh, So I'm going to hit copy right here. I can't see it. Copy, and we're going to go in here and just paste it in. And there you go. Once you have pasted in, you're going to have to uh, backspace off any extra space, and you're just going to line it up with everything else. So let, let me go ahead and line it up with everything else. Now, okay, once you have uh, done that, you're going to hit the save button right up here, save changes, and you're going to save that. And now you're going to close out of this window, and here you'll hit restore right here. You hit restore, and you're going to, you should just leave it at default, and that's probably the best for your device. Now you're going to hit okay. Just let your device restore. This will not take a long time, I mean, just add... Add a tenth of a kilobyte of a, of a yeah a kilobyte onto your device. Shouldn't take that long. So now on your computer you're all finished. Now it's just all on your device. So your device will go ahead and shut down. And there's no more need for the computer. Now your device should get this loading bar right here. Indicating that it is make have some changes being made to the device, and that shouldn't take long at all. All right, and there you go. You have battery percentage on your iPod Touch right there, as you guys can see, forty nine percent 
on my iPod Touch 5th generation. And uh, once again, we're going to go into Settings, General, About, and there it is. I am on 6.1.3, so I am indeed uh, doing this on a newer device, and this is a 5th generation iPod. And it does work, so I do have battery percentage right there. But sadly, um, you cannot config. You don't have any configuration options inside of uh, settings, so you you're pre pretty much stuck with it right now. But I don't think anybody would want to get rid of this little sign right here. It says 49% right there, so that is pretty cool. I do have battery percentage on my iPod Touch. So guys, that's it for this video. Hope you guys liked it, and if you guys did, don't forget to rate me up. If you guys have any questions or run into any kind of trouble, don't forget to leave a comment down below in the description. And uh, if you guys like more videos like this, like, actually I'm going to post a video uh, as soon as it's released, but it's going to be about how to jailbreak 6.1.3 or 6.1.4 untethered in the future. So be sure to subscribe for that. And uh, it does work, because the same team who... Uh, who who say they're working on 6.1.4 jailbreak have uh, jailbroken the unjailbreakable iOS 5.1 remember this is untethered so be sure to subscribe for that alright guys that's it for this video I hope you guys liked it and until next time peace